Hi guys, this is Danny from AirTrack. Today we're gonna to be breaking down the Grandmaster Swipe, AKA the GMS. I'm gonna be using the AirTrick today. It's a 13 by 20 AirTrick mat, 12 inches thick. The two prerequisites for the GMS are gonna be a good cartwheel and an aerial. If you haven't already checked out our aerial tutorial, please check it out here. With that, let's jump right into it. Our first step in our Grandmaster Swipe is a cartwheel that lands on our first leg. I do a left-handed cartwheel, so I'm gonna be landing on my right leg as I stand up. Second leg is gonna come up in the air in front of our posting leg. And let's do this a couple of times just to get comfortable because this is gonna set us up right into our GMS. Our second step out of our cartwheel is to throw an, another cartwheel off of our first posting leg. So as we stand up, our left leg comes in front, reaching with both hands over the top, over your left shoulder, spotting the ground. And it should look a little something like this. Important note on our cartwheel progression. Make sure our shoulders are coming all the way over our posting leg before going into our cartwheel. And the second is making sure that we're looking where our hands are going. The GMS is a very visual trick, so looking over our left shoulder and visualizing, seeing where our hand placements are going down. The next progression is going to be utilizing one hand instead of two. I want emphasis on the cartwheel to get more momentum going into it. We're gonna be leading up into that final aerial. So the more momentum we put into it, the safer it's gonna be on the other end. Make sure that we're, we're careful when putting one hand down because it could be a lot of pressure on your wrist, so uh, do so carefully. Okay guys, it's time to put the whole thing together. No hands, take the training wheels off, send it. Three important notes, make sure that as we're standing up out of that initial cartwheel, we do so aggressively with a lot of momentum, but more importantly, making sure our shoulders are over that posting leg, so we're using all that momentum in the direction that our GMS is going. Two, use this leg in front lift to actually give you a little bit more hype on your GMS. As you're standing up, when we time this correctly, we'll actually raise your center of gravity and you'll be flipping higher, which will make it a lot safer for your GMS. And lastly, keep your eyes open. This is a very visual trick. You're gonna be able to see the ground the entire time, judge your landing, and be able to come out of that GMS safely. You've landed and mastered your GMS. I wanna challenge you by saying a cartwheel is not the only way to get into the GMS. Any tricking move that we're landing in a hyper position or taking off of this right leg, you could be doing a hyper cork, we could go into our GMS or a cart fold at hypers. So you can get really creative and challenge yourself even just going aerial into a GMS instead of a cartwheel is a great next progression, but there's a lot of tricks and this is where the fun of tricking you know, really is, is linking all these different moves together and coming up with creative and original combos. That's it for this week. Thanks again for tuning into our tutorial. Make sure you check us out at airtrackus.com if you're interested in any of our products. I'd love to see the progressions uh, that you guys are doing. If you have any questions at all, throw them in the comments. Uh, we'd love uh, suggestions and ideas on any future tricks that you guys wanna learn or hear about. We'll see you next time. <laughs>